Next, we will discuss about paralytic ileus. Now, it is also called as a dynamic intestinal obstruction, and it is a condition in which there is failure of transmission of peristalsis due to neuromuscular dysfunction. So, let us discuss paralytic ileus. It is also called as a dynamic intestinal obstruction. Now it is characterized by failure of transmission of peristalsis due to neuromuscular dysfunction. Now let us discuss the various causes. What are the causes of paralytic ileus? Now first important cause is post-operative. Then we have hypokalemia. Then spinal injuries. Then retroperitoneal hemorrhage. Then it can be due to uremia. In patients of uremia, there can be paralytic ileus. Next, let us discuss the clinical features. Now see, in such patients, what happens? There will be marked abdominal distension. As a result of this distension, it will cause compression of the diaphragm. As a result of this, increased pressure on the diaphragm can lead to respiratory distress. Also, these patients will complain of non-passage of flatus and feces. And these patients, there will be vomiting in such patients. So, the clinical features, they include marked abdominal distension, marked abdominal distension, which can lead to respiratory distress. Then there can be non passage of flatus and feces. Then the patient will complain of vomiting. Now, please remember that in such patients, in such patients, there is dehydration and electrolyte. Disturbances. So, patients will have features of electrolyte imbalance. Patients will have features of electrolyte imbalance. Now, in these patients, since there is no peristaltic activity, so what will happen? The bowel sounds will be absent. So, next important feature is bowel sounds are absent. So, these are the clinical features in a case of paralytic ileus. Next, let us discuss the diagnosis part. Now, the first investigation to be done in diagnosing this case is X-ray abdomen. And what will be the findings? There will be grossly dilated bowel loops and multiple air fluid levels. So, first will be X-ray abdomen, standing and spine. What they will show? They will show dilated bowel loops and multiple air fluid levels. Then after that, let us discuss the treatment part. Now, in the treatment, Now, first, what we will do, since the patient has grossly dilated bowel loops, what we will do, we will insert a Ryan's tube and we will do the nasogastric decompression. 
So first we will do nasogastric decompression and then you see in these patients the cause is secondary to some disease. So we have to find out the primary disease and treat the cause. So treatment of the primary cause is important. Clear? Now these of type of patients they suffer from fluid and electrolyte disturbances. So treatment of fluid and electrolyte imbalance is important. So what we have to do? Correction of fluid and electrolyte imbalance. Clear? Now, after that what we will do? We will pass a flattest tube through the anal canal and keep it there for some time. Now, if the patient passes flattest and stools, that means his obstruction has been resolved and abdominal distension will be settled. But if this condition fails, if this treatment fails, then what we will do? We will go for surgical intervention and we will do the exploratory laparotomy and decompression of the bowel. So next is we will do a flattest tube. Decompression is done. But if it fails, we have to go for surgical intervention. And we will go for exploratory laparotomy and followed by bowel decompression. Now there is an important regime which was recently asked in one of the exams. It is catch pole regime. So what is catch pole regime in paralytic ileus? Catch pole regime now this catch pole regime includes administration of adrenergic anti adrenergic drugs plus cholinergic agents and that cholinergic agent which is used is neostigmine So in these patients, patients of palliative ileus, we can give anti-adrenergic drugs and cholinergic drugs. And what is the indication of this catch pole regime? If all the methods they fail, that is in resistant cases, we give this catch pole regime. So it is given in resistant cases. Resistant cases. 